we're back. A little copper work, a little bit of gas work at the tri stand. Today we're going to tie in the sewer and then we're going to repipe all the way down to that cluster muck of pipes down there. And then, actually first, I'm probably gonna tie in this gas right here. So let's do it. All right, put a coupling on that side. We got the pipe, three inch. And then, we got a Y. I reduced down to two inch to catch this, uh, this vent. I did two inch because this used to be a kitchen drain. And uh, if they ever want to turn it back to a kitchen drain, they'll have two inch. And I was going to use a uh, uh, Santee on its back because it's currently just a vent, but that wouldn't have been good if they wanted to turn it back into a, a drain for the kitchen. I don't know why they took that out. Um, and then we got, we're just letting this cure and then we're going to set this up. This is a Fernco. Uh, it's exactly like your regular rubber Fernco, but it um, has a shielded band and it's approved for underground use. It's really nice because you can slide these all the way on the pipe, get a perfect cut, line it up with the, with the existing pipe, and then just slide it on like a slip coupling. It's really nice. And you, uh, you can't glue on to pipe bursting pipe Greg said he has before and it was fine or John said that but then Greg was like yeah my buddy Ricky or something did that and it blew apart so we're just gonna use a band but uh, okay now we're after we tie this in we're gonna start the re all right we got the copper and the gas line we're using scotch coat mega press go like that and we'll bring it up and then I'm kind of proud of this a little bit we got the uh, we just cleaned this up tremendously we got the hot and cold and I don't know if you remember what the cluster of pipes was right there but it was hideous so it's nice and clean now. And then uh, we got these in. So now we just have to run the copper across. We got this prepared. Do we have that other, can we put that other piece back here real quick? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Oh yeah, need, we need to put a. So we're gonna put a. Anchor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, the water's back on temporarily for the tenant, but we're gonna run Upinor. We just did copper to here, so we could keep these copper, keep them copper coming out of the ground. But then for the underground, we're gonna do Upinor. We got the Upinor adapters. And you can direct bury Upinor in concrete and or dirt. It's on their website. You do not have to wrap it. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut in a T right here and then just tee off on all these. Real simple, real simple. All right, folks, this job is just a nightmare. It's been raining here. We've had to stop because of rain. Uh, I, I'm on my actual phone phone right now because I lost my recording phone, which is no big loss. 
just an old cell phone I have. I got another one. I'm just waiting for a little tripod. But I lost a bunch of footage, but that's okay. That's the SR17 pipe right there. The owner ended up telling us to replace the entire back house sewer. So everything is brand new, basically. We're starting to backfill. The uh, dirt is freaking muddy because it rained. It got through the freaking plastic. It's just been a never ending, never ending nightmare. And then we have a gas leak over here. Long story short, we isolated it. We know where it's coming from. So we will also be running an above ground gas line to service the back house. But as I said, many, many days have passed because of rain and getting approvals for uh, replacing the whole sewer. Um, that took a while because I guess the owner had been texting me, but he lives in a really strange place with bad service. And he's like, oh, I've been texting you. I, I've been texting you. And I was like calling him and getting no response. He's like, oh, I, I have bad service. And he sent me a screenshot of all these texts. He's like, go ahead, do it. Approve. Good job. Keep going. Thanks, guys. And I didn't get any of the texts. So, so it was like another four or five days just waiting on him to approve the rest of the sewer uh, replacement. So we lost some days on that, but we pipe bursted it all. I had the whole setup right here. And... But anyway, someone just called me and my phone stopped recording. So anyway, the whole sewer is brand new up until basically the, the property line right here. Because the owner didn't want to get public works involved. So everything's brand new up to here. And tomorrow we'll be wrapping up. I'm bringing a whole crew of guys. We're installing some two-way cleanouts here. And uh, backfilling all this mud. It's going to be tough. But, but I have not been doing a good job at keeping track of this one. So that's the update. All right, it's all tied in. Just running the water. <laughs> I know I only brought you along for a portion of this journey, but the front house sewer is screwed as well. And we were outside tying in the new three inch sewer, which we uh, backfilled most of it. It's just, yeah, backfilled most of it. Uh, but we were tying in the the, the sewers up front and I, I mentioned something about I mentioned something about uh, there you go I said something along the lines of oh this front house sewer is going to have to be replaced blah 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 and the, t and the tenant heard and, and, and she started laughing and she's like if that has to happen I'm suing something crazy like that I was like oh okay because I guess her and the owner are kind of odd ends, so to speak, a nice way to say it, um, but basically, uh, the front house sewer is screwed as well, but we just tied it in, she's only going to be here another, like, I think three, four months, and she's, she's like, oh, I'm moving, she wasn't mad at us, uh, she just, there's been a lot of repairs that have had to happen over here, and so, but basically this, we just, we tied it on. We had to use a Husky that down there uh, for a multitude of different reasons, but this is, this is gonna have to get dug back up. Um, and they're gonna have to replace all of this out to the, uh, out to the street because I don't know if I showed this in past episodes, but the, so you can see the Y right here. Uh, there's a massive root intrusion that I'm going to chain out today or tomorrow. Uh, right by the sidewalk here. And it's just, 
yeah, it, it's it's not good. But the house sewer runs all the way back. It's 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 garbage, dude. It's garbage. Uh, but we got got it all tied in. There's a I didn't do a two-way clean out mainly because we didn't have room, and you also have another clean out right there for the house. So. We're, these are going to be cut. These are going to be cut. And this, I know it looks like this one's coming out crooked, but it's actually, the, the hill goes like this. And we had to turn this one a little bit. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, because they're going to have to put these plants back in around this. And <sighs> I'm just, I'm glad that this is done. The sewer at least, because we still got, way more stuff to do over here with new gas line um, we're gonna we're gonna backfill today so but that's the update that's the update is sewers done we still got to do the gas line and install the water heater back but anyway there you have it the place back together as best as we could. The new gas line is installed. That'll be a future video. We got all this stuff that was there for a month out of the way. Concrete's done. event was like that so don't say anything no I'm just checking um, concrete's done new water heater box water heaters installed no leaks put this back they all work water's hooked up electricity got your two-way quizzles that's it cleaned up, put everything back, made it look like nothing ever happened. We left this area, because the landscapers are gonna have to do something over here, I don't know. But we uh, put this paver stones and stuff back there. This four part series does not do it justice. I came over here, I was over here probably 15 times. It was a month long job with everything that happened with the rain, getting approvals, backfilling, trying to backfill when the dirt was wet, having to stop. <laughs> it's a nightmare. But uh, we're done, all my stuff's loaded up. Everything is back to normal. Well. Wow normal as it can get thing is this is like open heart surgery when you do a job like this and it's like the, the place is there's no way we can make the place go back to what it looked like before you need landscapers for that they'll make it look like nothing ever happened but we did as much as we could you know so brand new sewer brand new water lines for the back house new gas line that's it.